Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you so much for our time together. It's a beautiful Sunday. Pastor Pagadora is up from Cebu for the Harvest Youth Conference, and so I asked him if he'd stay over, and he's going to preach the 7.30 service in South, and 10 o'clock Main, and 12.30 out at East Campus, and then we're closing out tonight with the great Cutlass Final Concert. It's been a great youth conference. Thank you, young people, for making all of this such a great success. I want all of us to go on our Bibles back to the book of Hebrews today. And I know I've really been focusing on the New Testament for a while, maybe too much, but there's, there's just so much here that is just so important that talks about our, our everyday lives. I want us to come back to Hebrews chapter 3 today, beginning with verse 12. Paul said, see to it, brothers, he's speaking to Christians, that none of you has a sinful, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God. Wow. So Christians can develop a sinful, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God. That's a scary thought. But encourage one another daily, as long as it is called today, so that, remember you always circle the word so that, none of you may be hardened by sin's deceitfulness. Every day of our lives we're surrounded by sin. Every day of our lives we hear the music, we see it on the television, we hear it on the streets, we sit on the jeepneys, and every day of our life we're surrounded by sin. And we don't understand that sin does have an impact upon our lives. The deceitfulness of sin has a hardening effect upon the Christian heart. Now we don't like to think about that, but Forgive me, this is the reality of the spiritual world that we live in. The deceitfulness of sin that surrounds us in our everyday world has the impact upon our heart of creating a spiritual hardening. Now God says the solution for that is very simple. We just stay in good contact with good Christian friends who encourage us daily. That every single day we've got people around us encouraging us, coming alongside and encouraging us toward our future with God. Now, in, a, in a world today in which everything is what I call virtual friendships, I mean, we've got, you know, Facebook and we've got Twitter and we, we act like we are in relationship with all these people and forgive me, we're in relationship with nobody. We need some friends around us every day. We need some good Christian friends, our connect group members, our barcada. We need good Christian friends that every day of our lives come alongside and encourage us toward our future with God. Otherwise, forgive me, otherwise, if you live with this little virtual friendship thing, your heart gets harder and harder in this environment of sin and its deceitfulness. Let's have some real friendships. We need each other. We need the encouragement from each other in Jesus' name.